as you see, it is really busy in here. I'm working to further improve the dark den and before I explain you what I'm doing here, let me just clean this. Let me explain you now. This is my idea of making a cheap uh, sound dampening board, you see? I have this base thing, uh, it is a wooden MDF board. I cut it to size, I have this sponge, you see? I put it on that and cover it with fabric so it looks like this and then hang it on the wall. And the basic idea is since in that corner we have camera recording over there, but we had a bare wall here so the sound was bouncing around and you could hear a lot of echo in the in the actual sound. So now with this corner having a sponge on the back the audio should be much much better. At least I hope it will be, the time will tell. I mean you already know if it's better because I already recorded a couple of videos with these installed. This is actually an old recording and how exactly old I'm not really sure when will be the time that I will be releasing this video so I have no idea but I will now show you how I made that. So I just put that black fabric on top, I flip it over like this and then on this side I just clamp, not clamp, the, I use the gun, this gun with the pins. With those pins I secure fabric on the back and I have these two holes you see and I use those holes to hang the panel on the wall, you see they are hanging from these two that are already in place. That is of course how I already installed this panel that you see it is more or less fixed, not moving. <laughs> yeah. Not the ideal solution but it works. And now uh, we don't have cappuccino anymore making noise but we have someone else making noise. And that would be Despacito. What is up man? What, is it a staring contest now? Hmm? But you don't want seeds, right? No seats, just other stuff. Okay, but now to finish this panel I need a fabric and currently I don't have that fabric because I used all of them on that panel so we need to do one time jump and voila, the fabric has appeared magically. So now as I explained I just attach it like this, you see with this, this gun that shoots, where did it go? I need to do another one down here. I heard it falling down, but I cannot see it. What is this? Oh, here it is. These things, you see, they just go into the wood and they hold the fabric in place. So, I'm going to put you on a tripod and I'm going to do right that. Just that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. It is not perfect, it is not beautiful, but it works. So now let me attach it. Very nice, right? Now you see, hopefully, when camera is in this position, the audio should be much better. And also mind that currently I'm using the camera from the, not camera, a microphone from the camera and I don't have the, the microphone that I usually use while recording videos, so we will see, we will hear a bit later, I guess. I mean, you already know the results, so now another time jump and I don't really remember how I ended the last clip, but what we are going to do next, we will do the first step for fixing the lightning system above the table. This wooden piece is already cut to appropriate size, so you see it is, it will go like, oh, this is, this is actually heavy. It will stand like this, so we need one leg here and one leg over there that will hold this in place. And underneath we will hang the lights. So so as I said this board is already cut to appropriate size and we only need two legs. I will cut one out of this piece and I will cut the second out of this piece. But I already marked the first one. So prepare for some cutting action and I should actually use a different lens, just a second. Yes, much better so you can see more action. Uh, but we are still going here where I will put you on the tripod and here I will cut quickly, quickly. But need to get my jigsaw out first. <laughs> Now I realize that I was on a manual focus, so if things were out of focus, it should be fine now. And now to cut the other leg. Remember, 
remember to always keep your workspace clean at least most of the time because on the long run that will help you out, trust me. Now I'm gonna need to paint this over black but I'm going to do that off camera. Now we are going to install some additional lights on the on this shelf where I have mantises now and I also moved Caribena Versicolor female because on her spot here we have a Pezzoteria Regalis and look I added more labels you see on the Instagram post I showed you that I labeled these enclosures and also Caribena Versicolor but now I also labeled almost every enclosure it is starting to look sweet now all we need to do I have three of these they are same type of lights that we have here we are just going to quickly install them under this. The hole for the cable is already drilled here, you see. And we are going to plug them right here. So let's just do that. There we go. Um, can you even see? I hope that you can see what it is happening here. But the light is on, working as a tenant. Now one quick... Mm, 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 looking good, right? And now we can do another time jump and the boards are dry, check it out. You see, all nice and black, ready to assemble. But before we start with that, I have one easier task. First, I got these two things. This, we will use that, but this is something that we, we need, but we cannot use at this very moment. You see how this particle board got this a uh, wooden piece exposed unlike these edges that are completely black. That is because this was kind of hidden in the old dark den and now here it is like in the middle so I don't really like that. Therefore I have this thing that you tape over that but the problem is in order to glue it, you see underneath this is glue, in order to activate it you need to heat it. So you just place it like that and use the ironing thingy. I don't know how it's called, the device that you use to iron your shirts. like. I run, I don't know, but you need that in order to install this and I don't have that. So we will skip that for now. It will happen in some other video. And this, this is, you see, over here we have a bunch of screws that are exposed, like blah, 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 all over there, here, 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 and also here. We will use this to cover them. So we are just going to sit back, relax, and this will be over in a second. And there is really nothing... What the... Oops, I don't know how this happened better now, right? Now I don't really need to explain you how I'm doing this, you just take it and stick it on the screw. Therefore the board will be much prettier, right? Check it out, you will see it in a second. Okay, I think I got all of them. Now we also have a couple here and then we are done with this super super exciting task, right? <laughs> okay, now this already looks a bit prettier because now, okay, please camera focus. I mean you can still see them kinda but they blend in really nice. There are still a few pieces and like chips that I missed but I will cover these with that big tape and these small ones like this and also this tiny for example I will just cover that with a permanent marker it is also black. But I still hate the fact that even though I'm trying to cover all those tiny things dark then always looks like some sort of workshop because I'm always doing something, there are always some stuff outside, I have too many stuff still, still to this day. But let me show you what else we are going to do in this video. Check it out, yesterday when I finished this video and went home, I had some mail in my package and it was these lights that now we can finally finish this shelf, remove those nasty yellow lights and replace them with beautiful lights just like we have over here. You know that we switched already. Uh, currently it is like 9 p.m. so that's why all the lights are turned off but once we install new lights we are going to turn them off to check it out. But before we do that we are going to finish the table. Yeah! And for that I need to figure some stuff out. <laughs> And also I have one package to open and I can already see that it says gift t-shirt. So let's check out what is the t-shirt. Well this is not PG-13 I guess. <laughs> check it out. Right? Not so family friendly. Uh, let's see from who it is. Oh this is from Gar, you know the guy that sent me a chili that he made and he actually made a video of him making a chili for me and Tarantula Dan. 
this is from him and Arachnotube. Did you rename your channel or am I going crazy? I don't know. But thank you for this shirt. Yeah, I guess go and check Gar out. <laughs> but yeah, spiders sometimes are dicks. <laughs> Let's continue. First screw finished. That's it, looks secured, sweet. Now let's install the lights. Oh, these two behind are not working. Uh oh, does that mean that this cable is not working? Hmm, I have another one. Okay, it is the faulty cable, but check it out, so much light we have here at the table. Mm, 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 I'm loving this. And the beauty is now the whole table is like equally lit, so I will no longer have like one really really bright spot and the rest will just be in the darkness. Now everything is bright. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now we are continuing with the light solution, light situation. As I explained, we are going to finish these. We need to remove all the enclosures. And all the enclosures are magically gone, look. They teleported right there. Now we can just pull all of these apart, like... Brah, brah, brah. And the final one, brah, be gone. Ugly yellow lights, we don't need you, nobody likes you. Okay, that was all that I can do with just the brute force. Now I need to do some cutting and stuff. But I need a tripod, tripod, tripod right here so you will be able to see everything yeah all right everything is installed so are you ready for the moment of the truth let's get the enclosures first let's see oh Damn! This is now looking bright and so nice. The only thing that I dislike, the cables over there, you can see them. But other than that, oh, this corner is now mwah, beautiful. All right, now one final time jump and I'm finally done with everything here for now. Just for now, look. I actually need more light. Yes, that and this. Okay, now check it out. Off camera I put these on the wall and I also hang the stuff that I received from the subscribers in the last few years, you see. Of course these are not all. If you send me something and it is not there, don't worry. I have everything stored so it is just waiting the right moment and check it out. I hang the boot calendar here and since it is a new month, you see this is new picture. It is Acanto Squira Geniculata and this is one of my favorite pictures in, the, in this calendar. You see how it is super fast. Basically you can feel the picture and do you hear that noise? I mean no longer but yeah someone is moving his way in his enclosure. Hello Despacito, how are you doing? Once again you are here on the stones making noise and also there is Felix. He is on top of his favorite branch. Felix, wanna say hi to people? <laughs> wanna grab the camera, huh? Oh yes, you want to do that, right? <laughs> oh no! You silly fool! <laughs> Look at him. Why do you always want to do that? Catch camera or or my face if he got the opportunity? Oh, just I need to put the camera down. I don't want him to fall down. Come on, Felix, let's go. Go back on your branch. Yeah. <laughs> you just stay there. Now, as I said, but first check out how I kinda cleaned the dark there, right? I still got some things to do, but it is kinda clean. I still need to fix this side because I don't want this stuff to be outside. But this is now the ultimate place. With so much light and everything going on. But as promised, I'm going to end this video with Cleaning the dust on those enclosures. Ha ha ha. Enjoy it. Ooh, you like it? <laughs> now with this beautiful sight, I really hope that even though this wasn't the most exciting video, I know that these build videos aren't super popular and they don't get as much views as some other videos, but I still want to do this because I know that a lot of you want to see and enjoy seeing how 
uh, Darden is developing. So I'm doing this guys for you, the most dedicated fans, the most dedicated subscribers. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page of course. If you're new to this channel and you somehow managed to reach the end of this video, which I highly doubt but maybe so- oh, this one kinda broke. So if you aren't subscribed and you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe because you enjoyed the video and want to see more, right? That is usually how it goes, but I upload every Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye! -bye.